After having put thousands of hours into maxing not only a normal Iron Man account, but also a hardcore Iron Man account, I set myself a goal to be the first person in RuneScape to max all three Iron Man game modes. I'm now attempting to tackle one of Old School's most difficult challenges, maxing an Ultimate Iron Man. This is my road to maxing every Iron Man mode. Hey what's up everybody, welcome to episode number 64 of the Ultimate Iron Man series. In the last one I did around 50 hours of Master Farmer and now I have a ton of herb seeds and also some watermelon and snake grass seeds to farm. Um, my plan next, I mentioned this briefly at the end of the last video, I'm going to try to do 99 agility. I, I honestly don't know if I'm going to be fully committed to doing that in this video. I might get like 97 or 98 and move on to something else but I just want to do something that allows me to consistently farm my herb seeds and agility is a really really good option so I need to go and upgrade the thing in my house that allows me to store my pets since I got another one of these uh, and after that I'm going to go die to a spory and get everything set up I need for agility and I'll see you guys back then. All right, I actually had to make a little detour here um, since I'm doing my watermelon seeds again I needed to go and get these uh, nests I'm not even actually going to try to pronounce these I needed to get these seeds because I can plant them in the flower pack patches and it'll make it so my watermelons never die so I needed five of these to plant in all those patches and they also take 20 minutes to grow so I'm going to plant all of those while I go and mine some more uh, volcanic ash since I'm going to be doing a ton of them I'm probably going to get like 2,000 to 3,000 more volcanic ash as well it took a while to get all this done but I'm finally here um, I think it was like an hour and a half between doing all of my farming stuff I needed to get ready um, so I got 72k XP just from going through my full mahogany run and my full pineapple tree run again. Uh, I went through planted all of my watermelon seeds as well. So my first herb seed I'm going to be farming are my snapdragons and then I'm going to be moving on to the aventos. Uh, by the time I finish with 99 agility, I should get through a pretty large amount of these seeds that I have, since it is going to be uh, around 4 million XP. So I reset my farming counter and my agility counter so you guys can follow along with me um, with the XP between updates for those. I'm pretty freaking far away from my agility level and I'm really far away from my farming level too So the next time I see you guys, uh, it'll more than likely have been probably like two days Okay, so in the last clip I said I'd see you guys in probably around two days again uh, It's been about that. It's like two and a half days uh, level 96 agility and I have gained 821,000 agility XP so far um, So normally with this course I'd be getting like 60 to 62 K uh, but since I'm taking a break every hour and 20 minutes to do a herb run, uh, which takes me like 20 minutes to do, I'm, I'm averaging around 40 to 45k per hour. I am up to almost 1,000 Snapdragons farmed and 262 marks of grace gained though. Uh, another thing, I forgot how good the farming XP was from Watermelon Seeds. Uh, so with the 821k agility XP I've gained, I've also gained 565k farming XP. Uh, so I'm 300k off getting another farming level as well. Um, I've gone through one third of my watermelon seeds already as well So I should be able to get like a million more XP from those uh, before my XP starts slowing down uh, So yeah, the way everything's going right now I'm a million XP away from the next agility level So I'll see you guys once I'm about to get a farming level and there's the first farming level 96 farming uh, up to 1.2 million agility XP gained so far uh, about 40% to the next level I still have a large amount of snapdragon seeds to go to I have 128 of these left to go um, not going to be able to get through as many seeds as I thought. Uh, I might only get through my snaps and my aventos, so I'm still going to have a lot more to farm. Uh, so after I finish doing this, I might actually go back to doing prayer just so I can continue, um, to farm all of these herbs. Uh, but yeah, at this point, it's still going pretty good. I'm not really too bored of agility. I have 3 million XP left to go, so... Uh, it's still gonna be quite a while. All right, there's another agility level. So I'm um, up to level 97 now. It's been probably around 15 hours since uh, the last update. Uh, also up to 2,600 Snapdragons farmed. I'm really close to being done with these now. I only have 17 left to go, which is gonna be two more herb runs. Uh, and after that, I am gonna be moving on to my Aventos. Also almost 600 marks of grace. Um, when I finish farming all my Aventos, I'll pretty much have uh, enough. I think I'll have even more amylase than I'll ever even need to use. Uh, since I do still have a ton from when I did this before, and I got a thousand marks of grace last time I did this as well. Farming's going really good as well. I'm like 50% between 96 and 97 on that. Okay, so at this point, I just completely finished farming all of the snapdragons I had, and I got a total of 2,824 of them, which, um, if I use them for herb, would be a total of about 400,000 herb XP. So getting that much already, just from the amount of agility XP I gained, is really nice to have. 
uh, passively. So I'm going to be farming my Aventos now, 262 of these to go through. And of course, those are like 194 herb XP each, which makes them by far the best herb in the game I can use. Uh, another thing, I am almost out of my watermelon seeds. I only have 16 of these left to go, which isn't even enough for me to do a full run with. The only thing I'm really going to be able to farm is the snake grass plants I do at the Hasidious patch every time since they don't die. So uh, I'll still be getting passive XP from this, but it's going to be nothing like it has been. Okay, so once again, it's been a really long time since I last saw you guys. Uh, I've gotten about a million more agility XP, and that is level 98. So one more level left to go with agility. Uh, it's like 1.2 million, so probably like 30 more hours of agility, and I'll be done with this. Also, last time I saw you guys, I just started farming my Aventos, and I have 1,500 of those now, which is another around 300k herb XP. Uh, also, almost at 1,000 marks of grace, uh, so I'm 64k away from my next farming level. I might get that today off of my herb runs. If not, I'll get it tomorrow off of my pineapple trees. And there's a level 97 farming, one level left to go until 2200 total, and uh, I've gained about 300,000 more uh, agility XP since I last saw you guys. Uh, nothing else really to mention here, I'm just going to keep doing agility until I'm level 99. Uh, I, I might do one more update in between uh, to let you guys know what seed I'm going to be farming next because I think I'm going to be able to get through all 39 of these Aventos uh, before I hit 99. Look at this, man. 2,322 Aventos. This is the amount I ended up getting from all of the Avento seeds I got from Master Farmer. Uh, so like I did mention, I'm going to be moving on to farming my next herb now. I decided to go with the Lantidimes. I only have 64 of them. Uh, and I'm still 700k off, so it should be a pretty decent amount. I should actually get through all of these by the time I finish um, doing all of my agility. I already have 1,170 of these, so farming more of them, they'll just add to this stack, so it won't actually add another spot in my looting bag. And they're also really, really good farming XP. Okay, well, I only have 8 Lantanime seeds left, and I'm still 450k away from 99 agility, so it looks like I'm gonna have to farm another seed. Uh, also, I ran out of Ultra Compost. I had like 500 stacked up, and it's basically all gone, so I need to go and mine some more Volcanic Ash. Um, I won't really need too much, but since I'm up here, I figure I might as well just mine like 2,000 anyway since I'm going to be needing it in the future. Alright guys, so after a very, very long time, I am only 123 XP away from getting 99 agility. Uh, so overall from this, before I get the level, uh, I wanted to say this took probably around 100 total hours between me having to go and do all of the herb runs and everything. Also, not only am I about to get 99 agility here, I am also about to get another milestone. I'm going to be getting 2200 total, so both of these lined up really nice. I actually need to make sure I get a picture of this too, so I can post it on Twitter. So there it is. Another 99 in the account, and also 2200 total level. I actually don't know how many 99s this is. So it looks like it's number 12. I counted pretty quick, so I might have been wrong on it. But it's another really, really nice 99 to get out of the way. And from doing it, I also got a lot of additional XP I'm going to go through. So 2.3 million farming XP um, as well. This is mainly from like all of the watermelons and snape grass, to be honest. I did run out of the watermelons a really long time ago, but I still have 375 snape grass to go. Uh, in terms of all the herbs I got, um, if I were to add all four of these up, it's going to be, I believe, 1.1 million herb XP. Another thing I want to do though is add up all of the total herbs that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out all of the ones that I already have farmed. Um, so it's gonna be all three of these. So this is what my stack looks like now for herb. Uh, there's still a few other ones in here like the Harlander and Renards, but I'm not really too worried about those right now. Uh, also, my stack of snake grass is like 16,000, which is way more than even the Renard seeds I have. So I'm really never gonna have to worry about that. Um, all of these herbs, though, 4,500 Aventos. On top of the almost 2,000 stamina as I have already, uh, yeah, that's going to be like 5,000 stamina or something. Um, so all four of these herbs that I have now added up is enough to get me from 91 to 94 herb. It's about 1.8 million XP. Um, what really sucks thinking about, though, is even having 94, I am still 5 million XP off of getting 99. And in the entirety of agility that I just did, I only got like one fifth of that. So uh, Herb is going to be by far the most annoying 99 to finish out. Another thing I was worried about is if I'd have enough amylase to actually go through all of my Aventos. But with just the 13,600 I already had, uh, it's already enough for me to get through all of them. So these uh, 1,300 marks of grace that I just got are kind of going to be extra. I might need a few of them in the future. Um, when I go back to Master Farmer, but overall, I'm probably going to end up just dropping like the extras over to my main uh, so I can buy some more bonds. So the question as to what I'm going to be doing next, uh, I believe in a part of this video I mentioned I might go and do prayer just so I can continue farming all of my herbs. 
Um, I'm actually going to go and do some rune crafting. Uh, I don't have enough GP to get myself to 99 fletching, and I'd want to do that if I was doing prayer. So I think I'm going to go for like 95 rune crafting, which will get me the money to do uh, 99 fletching in pass control. So those are probably be the three next things I'm doing. And maybe when I'm done with um, doing prayer, I'll use up all of the herbs I have. So um, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, it was like three weeks, I think, for me to upload this. But um, I really wanted to make sure I got through all of agility before doing that. So uh, the next one, I really honestly don't have any idea. It's probably going to be the same amount of time, honestly. I I'd expect three weeks. Trailblazer League should hopefully be coming out within the next one to two months. So you guys will um, start getting daily videos again when that comes out. But... Um, yeah, as always, thank you guys so much, and I hope you're looking forward to the next video.